Hi everyone, Neko here with another recap. Today's show is called Horomiya, and it is about two classmates that discover they each hide their true identities at school. I hope you enjoy it. Izumi Miyamura is a quiet and bookish looking loner at school. Meanwhile, popular girl Kyoko Hori dresses fashionably and is very outgoing. The one day they accidentally stumble upon each other's secrets, and Hori dresses simply at home and acts like a different person taking care of her family. And Miyamura is a friendly guy with many piercings who isn't very good at studying. Since they stumble upon each other's secrets after Miyamura accompanies Hori's younger brother Soda home after a nosebleed, they both agree to safeguard each other's secrets. They cultivate a profound bond and companionship, and Miyamura continues to visit and play with Soda. During one of these visits, Miyamura accidentally reveals his true appearance in front of Hori's best friend Yuki Yoshikawa while en route to help Hori buy eggs during a flash sale. Meanwhile, Toru Ishikawa, a fellow classmate, befriends Miyamura despite having feelings for Hori and confides in him about his plan to confess to her. Miyamura, feeling conflicted, creates some distance between himself and Hori until she confronts him, expressing her dismay at his avoidance, fearing it could tarnish her reputation. The two eventually reconcile, with Hori explaining that she rejected Ishikawa's advances. While conversing with her mother, Hori comes to the realization that she is unaware of Miyamura's first name. Intrigued, she devises various subtle plans to uncover it, until Miyamura eventually discloses it to her. At school, the student council seeks Hori's assistance with their paperwork. Later on, they accuse her of misplacing the budget report, but Miyamura exonerates her by revealing that one of the council members, Remy, inadvertently dropped it when she accidentally bumped into him, and coincidentally while headbutting the president Sengoku. The student council apologizes for the misunderstanding, and in turn, Hori confesses that she aided them out of remorse for bullying Sengoku during their childhood. As the students embark on their third year, Miyamura presents Hori with a CD as a birthday gift. As Miyamura reminisces about his troubled past, always feeling like an outcast at school, Hori, Ishikawa, and Yoshikawa spontaneously form a team with him for a class project. In this moment, he realizes he has genuine friends he can rely on. He confides in Ishikawa, who reassures him about their friendship. The following day, Remy playfully teases Hori, hinting that she might be interested in dating Miyamura, causing Hori to become defensive and protective of him. After school, Hori and Miyamura compare their hands, and in the midst of the moment, Hori comes close to expressing her feelings to him. However, when Ishikawa confronts Miyamura about Hori's feelings, Miyamura denies that she has any romantic interest in him, leading to a heated argument between the two. Eventually, they both apologize and make amends, while Miyamura confides in Yoshikawa about the true cause of their disagreement being related to Hori. As summer approaches, Sakura develops affection for Ishikawa when he assists her in collecting the papers she accidentally scattered. Hori surprises Miyamura with ice cream, and he generously shares it with Ishikawa and Sengoku. During a friendly game among their group, Hori and Miyamura suffer defeat and are tasked with buying drinks for everyone, leading Ishikawa to misconstrue the situation between them. After school, Hori discovers that Miyamura becomes awkward and defensive only when interacting with Shindo, his former middle school classmate. While wandering around town, Hori and Ishikawa unexpectedly encounter Shindo. Later, Hori falls ill, and Miyamura takes care of her, gaining insight into the feelings of isolation she experiences. Through this process, he musters the courage to confess his own feelings for her. Soda informs Hori that he spotted Miyamura with another girl, unaware that she is Chika, Shindo's girlfriend. Hori becomes upset and starts avoiding Miyamura, which eventually leads to her flinging her textbook at him in frustration. When Miyamura visits her house to return the textbook, they both apologize to each other. Hori grants Miyamura the chance to explain, but their conversation is interrupted by her father, Kiyosuke. In front of her father, Hori confirms that Miyamura is her boyfriend, and they officially start dating. Ishikawa, learning about this development, feels downhearted but assures Miyamura that they are still friends. Meanwhile, Sakura confides in Remy about her crush on Ishikawa, feeling insecure about her looks compared to Remy's, but Remy comes to her defense and provides her with encouragement. The other students catch wind of Hori and Miyamura's romantic involvement when Miyamura stays over at her place one night. Concerned about how his image might impact Hori's reputation, Miyamura decides to change his appearance by cutting his hair and ditching his glasses. After school, while Shindo shares candy with Hori and Miyamura, Miyamura takes the initiative and kisses Hori for the first time. As a result of his new look, Miyamura attracts attention from other girls, including Hinoka Sawada, a first-year student who boldly proclaims herself as his rival for Hori's affections. Miyamura discovers that Sawada is his next-door neighbor, and that her brother passed away a year ago, which makes him more empathetic towards her situation. This newfound understanding leads to a connection between Miyamura and Sawada as they develop their own relationship. One day Ishikawa lends the vice president Sakura his sweatshirt to conceal a stain, and as a gesture of gratitude, Sakura bakes cookies for him. Feeling envious, Yuki seeks Miyamura's assistance in baking cupcakes. Despite the cupcakes turning out a bit burnt, Ishikawa encourages Yuki to keep trying. 
Meanwhile, Miyamura has to travel to Hokkaido for five days to attend a funeral, leaving Hori anxiously waiting for his return. She becomes even more anxious when his phone runs out of battery. However, on the day he comes back, they share a tearful embrace. The girls propose a plan for Hori to act timid around Miyamura, pretending to be scared during a horror movie. However, things take an unexpected turn, and it ends up being Hori who startles Miyamura, feeling embarrassed. Hori is comforted by Miyamura who lovingly reminds her that he adores her just the way she is. Later that night, they spend a meaningful night together. Nehemiah experiences a vivid dream where he encounters his younger self and offers assurance that he will eventually meet the friends he cherishes. Remy reflects on her bond with Sengoku, reminiscing about the day they first crossed paths and the moment Sengoku confessed his feelings to her. On the other hand, Miyamura stumbles upon a surprising aspect of Hori's character, her masochistic side. She continuously urges him to scold or even hit her, and though he feels uneasy about it, he reluctantly obliges. Meanwhile, Yoshikawa receives a romantic proposition from Ukane Yanagi, a student from another class. Seeking advice, she turns to her friends who propose that Ishikawa pose as her pretend boyfriend. Despite Yoshikawa turning down Yanaga's confession, the group graciously welcomes Yanagi into their circle of friends. Miyamura unexpectedly encounters an old middle school classmate, Tanahara, who used to subject him to bullying. Tanahara proceeds to belittle him once again, but this time, Hori steps in and defends Miyamura, leading to a confrontation in which Tanahara and his friend are ultimately defeated by her. Despite her tough exterior, Hori continues to pressure Miyamura to be more assertive with her, something he hesitantly agrees to. However, this results in accidentally frightening Tanahara and his friends during a separate incident. Miyamura crosses paths with Mizauchi, who initially displays a chilly attitude towards him due to having feelings for Hori. Nevertheless, as they spend time together, they start to grow closer and more understanding of each other. In a surprising turn of events, Tanahara has a dream where he reflects on a past incident in which he wrongly blamed Miyamura for the demise of their school's rabbits. He decides to visit Miyamura's cake shop, where he is received warmly and promises to return. Deep within, he acknowledges and apologizes for his past actions. As time goes on, Hori and Miyamura reflect on their middle school experiences, with Miyamura now able to look back on it with more fondness after forming closer connections with everyone. Hori experiences feelings of jealousy, as she observes how close Miyamura has become with Tanahara, Shindo, and the other guys. Sakura is left heartbroken upon discovering the rumors about Ishikawa, and Yuki supposedly dating, while Yuki grapples with her inner turmoil, uncertain about how to be honest with her feelings for him. The Shikawa confides in Yuki about Sakura confessing to him, without demanding an immediate answer. Instead, he decides to uplift Yuki's spirits by discussing all the things he adores about Snow, which is what her name means, and how eagerly they anticipate its arrival. Later, Sengoku provides comfort and support to Sakura, who is grieving and feeling rejected. Upon discovering that one of their friends Iura has a sister, the boys in the group make an effort to grow closer to Yanagi. At first, Miyamura is concerned that he might lose his connection with the guys, but he eventually forms a strong bond with Yanagi as well. Sawada starts to feel more at ease around the boys, but still finds it challenging to be around the boisterous and irritating Iura. One day, Iura quietly assists Sawada without her knowledge, but she becomes anxious, thinking that he dislikes her. However, to her relief, he returns to his usual self the following day. Latoko, Iura's sister, faces discouragement when her teacher suggests that she may not get into her desired high school. Nonetheless, Iura provides her with encouragement, and he asks Hori for help in tutoring Matoko, leading to meaningful conversations between them. Internally, both siblings hope that the other doesn't truly dislike them. Hori extends an invitation to Miyamura to join them for Christmas dinner, but he regretfully declines due to work commitments, much to Soda and Kiyosuke's disappointment. The Shikawa confides in Sengoku and Iura about his feelings for Yuki, expressing his contentment with their current relationship, even though they are not technically dating. Later, Yuki visits Ishikawa's house to spend time together, but they both feel increasingly nervous and embarrassed, especially with the presence of Yashiro, the Ishikawa household caretaker, playfully teasing them. Meanwhile, Sengoku is hesitant to visit Remy because of his fear of bugs. As the characters approach graduation, Hori ponders what their future will hold after high school. On Christmas, each character enjoys a cozy celebration with their families and loved ones. Miyamura briefly visits the Hori household before heading to work. During their walk home, Hori expresses her desire to stay together with Miyamura even after they graduate, to which he responds by suggesting they get married. Their heartfelt conversation continues into New Year's as they contemplate their future together. As the school year draws to a close, the students engage in the ritual of cleaning out their lockers. Remy expresses her desire to go on a trip with the rest of her friends, but worries about the possibility of them drifting apart in the future. 
They reassure her that they will always remain friends, providing her with comfort and reassurance. Niamira takes a moment to reflect on how different his and the other's school life would have been if he hadn't serendipitously met Hori. During the graduation ceremony, a comical mishap occurs when Miyamura accidentally sneezes, causing a brief uproar during Sengoku's speech. Afterward, he addresses his past self, vowing not to turn a blind eye to who he used to be anymore. Sawada bids farewell to Hori, while Sakura expresses her gratitude to Ishikawa. Yanagi approaches Yuki with the idea of the entire group going on a trip together in the future. Kiyosuke playfully appears to tease Miyamura and Hori, and Matoko witnesses her brother's distinct personality at school while walking him home. Nehemiah and Hori depart together, and he contemplates all the things he cherishes about her, acknowledging the significant impact she has had on his life, and contemplating how he can express his gratitude to her. And this is all for this video, make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.